Greetings! Today we have the Stella Artois. So this is a nice Belgian beer. It's a great draft and it's not that strong. A little about five percent but it's just a pleasure to drink this beer. Um, an excellent beer. So let's uh, pop it open here. Oh, we got a good one for you today. Don't you worry. <laughs> okay. So. Save a little bit. Right, so <clears throat> it's gonna be a crazy one because we're gonna debunk the globe with a napkin from the dollar store. It's so easy. <laughs> Just like this. Check this out. Right? You see that? Right there, the globe is debunked, okay? Look at that thing, all right? Just look at that. That's what they say, you, I mean, <laughs> so let's say, they say, they say if you had a soccer ball, the part that we live on on the globe is equal to a half a millimeter skin on the soccer ball. Half a millimeter. And it's all cracked up and broken. This is the crust, okay? It's not even the broken plates underneath. This is the crust and stuff. So anyways, whatever they say the crust is, it's right there. Okay, half a millimeter thick. Now inside, underneath that broken crust, you know, as you know, only solid objects can spin. So whenever a globe believer says he's spinning, he's out of his mind. Because you tell him, only solid bodies can spin. It's done right there. Done. Also, even if the globe was solid titanium, still can't spin. Because it breaks the speed limit of any known material. You got weight acting as a force multiplier, plus the speed itself. You know, nothing can go a thousand miles per hour. It just doesn't work. And we already showed that before, the force relationships. I'll review it a bit later. I have the notepad from the old days. So, this here debunks the globe so easy. So, there's your skin right there, that barbecue, okay? That's a metal, nice solid metal uh, container of the fire, all right? So I dare anybody here, you know, you've all heard of conduction, right? So you go try to touch the surface of that barbecue when it just has the hot coals in it, okay? Go touch the surface of it, right? It's going to be really hot. You're going to burn yourself, easily burn yourself. So imagine the earth. <laughs> oh, man. It's just sad. Anyways, just imagine that skin, half a millimeter on the soccer ball, amounts to whatever it is on Earth, up to, you know, 50 kilometers, 35 kilometers down to zero. And then you touch the mantle underneath. So it includes like the basalt and granite and stuff like that. That would get so hot, okay? There's no way the water wouldn't boil off. You couldn't live on the earth with the, they say it gets hotter than the surface of the sun, 6,000 degrees inside the earth. And there's convection currents and all that. And even just below the crust, it's something like almost 2,000 degrees. There's no way <laughs> that's not gonna, 
through convection go into space which is totally frozen it, it's gonna just literally draw the heat out it, okay that's not like an insulation layer that thin thin layer okay if oh. so you see right there it's debunked okay done and dusted that's all you cannot defeat this okay right there that's basically the end of the video that's all I wanted to say is that you cannot the globe model doesn't work it's a broken model so that's it it's it's not a huge video today Let me finish off the rest of the beer So good, 1366. So man, that, that's been around a while. My goodness, a little trumpet on there. Got their little star. Yeah, so I was gonna say about the spin. If you spun a solid body, okay, and you spun it, it would break as if you sliced it with a knife, like a uniform saw, let's say an apple. And we have that at flat.wtf. Just go there, top to bottom, we have the engineering at the top, and then we have like applying the knowledge, and it's done. Even gravity we expose there, everything. It's so good. Just start at the top of the page, but the time you get to the end of it, where's your globe it doesn't exist um, so we'll do a little bonus here today so we already know from other videos that uh, just wait right here right here you remember these drawings hang on right here okay so this thing is spinning there's like the north south and it's going like this one half it's as if all the force acts along the diameter okay north south and all the force it's as if it acts along the diameter and it literally causes when you see the apple it just breaks apart like you sliced it with a knife and that's expected that's exactly what's expected whether you're spinning a hoop okay hoop stress and then the hoop breaks apart whether you're spinning a solid flywheel or a sphere that's how it breaks just boom because what is a sphere okay if you do the math it's just a bunch of flywheels stacked on top of each other actually so and that's why it breaks just perfect so each one of those hoops let's say if it's a hollow sphere you know you, you just take the equator that'd be like a onion ring each one of those onion rings the diameter is getting smaller and smaller they all break at once just like that it's done okay so that's very simple right there the lobe is debunked but let's pretend We'll make this like a part three. So we already killed the globe with the barbecue. We killed the globe that no solid uh, body can spin. We're gonna kill it one more time. So we're gonna believe everything they say. Okay, we're gonna say, assume that this um, molten magma filled, broken crust, paper thin crust, 33.3 um, million atmospheres of pressure in there. I don't know how it's holding it together, but it is. We'll believe all that. We're going to believe it's spinning, 1,000 miles an hour, and we're going to believe that it's orbiting, 67,000 miles an hour. Okay? We'll be uh, believe all that. Now, what we're going to do is the combined effect of spin plus orbit. <laughs> The we knocked the bottle down. The combined effect, good thing we drank it all. The combined effect of spin plus orbit equals 21 millimeters per second squared acceleration 
alternating with deceleration, alternating, every 12 hours or half revolution. So everything on the surface of the Earth is going to have to feel that. There's no other way. So you go try to build a rock balancing statue with that amount of acceleration and deceleration, alternating, okay? 21 millimeters per second squared, are you crazy? You just blow on those statues sometimes and they'll be knocked down. You know, they're very, you know, they're just delicate, tenuous. This is, you know, you can't, can't build that if the globe was spinning and orbiting. And that just kills them every time. That's it. They lose their minds when you bring that up. I was on Quora and I was bringing this up to these PhD people and they were losing it. They, they literally went mental um, over this. They, they couldn't account for it. So it was a lot of fun um, breaking them down like that. So, yeah. So that's it. You just ask anybody, say, hey, I believe your globe. I believe it's spinning. But where is that, uh, the expected, predicted by the globe model, 21 millimeters per second squared. And that's just for two of the motions. You do a vector addition, okay? You'd have to include all the motions and it would be more. If I just add um, being dragged by the sun half a million miles per hour, while orbiting the sun, there's another four millimeters per second squared. So it's stupid. It cannot work. It does not work. Done. That's all. Period. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, the napkin. I wanted to see the napkin again, but the napkin's disappeared. And that's okay. Uh, hey, Chief, where are you going, man? Well, I was just going to say, I wanted to show you. They got another guy with a beard here. Yeah, another guy with a beard. Just happened to find a one here. I don't know if you... What's going on here? There, there's another guy with a beard! What's going on? <laughs> yeah, no, this is my brother. Yeah, right here. Yeah. yeah another yeah. globe debunked. Yeah, it's done. And that's the, the end, end of the globe! globe. <laughs>